Hey boys, welcome to Maths Games, my name is Simon. Today we're looking at Don't Panic. This is pretty much, I would say, for children. It was actually from a children's youth club. But as you can see, it's ages eight plus for two to more players. Played this game yesterday. This is a trivia game, but more, um, I guess, more generic than that. And that's a good thing, because typically with trivia, things date and age. This one is very much apt and of its time, which is really good. As you can see, we've got this weird buzzer thing here, some rules and you need a pen, but ultimately over the course of five rounds, you're looking to get a certain amount of things relating to a certain topic before the buzzer runs out. And as soon as you get the certain amount, then you'll get points equal to where it is, but if it lands in the middle, then you're gonna get the lower value. So as an example, you can choose your difficulty, one, two, three, four, or five. Things with lids, so you could say, I don't know, a coffee pot lid or a you know, saucepan, that kind of stuff. Islands, where you could say, I don't know, New Zealand, Australia, etc. Famous hotels, Ritz, Coles, whatever. Hot drinks, hot coffee, uh, and you've got tea, hot chocolate, and then you've got dinner, sorry, divination methods. As you can see, it's many get harder. Now, sometimes some of the harder ones are actually easier than the easier ones, but overall, they do state that, generally speaking, the easier ones are always easier overall. So generally speaking, if you do all the twos, you will do better than having the threes, typically, is what they state. So what's gonna happen is you're literally gonna Flip over a card, read it, and hit the buzzer. So you're going to turn this all the way up to here. If you're watching this as a short, of course, by now you'll be watching the full video. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Also, let me know your comments are best in YouTube. And of course, as always, head through to Instagram, see over 3,000 photos, 3,000 posts. And also, make sure you join the discussion on Facebook. Occasionally, competitions by Linktree, but they are time sensitive. And there's also the podcast too. So what you do is you write down your name. Round one, you name three things. So let's just say, uh, yeah, this one we haven't done yet. So three, two, one, go. Sorry, you read it first. Kinds of sweet. So you could say Hershey's. And now it's very loud, so I'm not going anymore. But you keep on going until maybe it hits here or you read out three things. You hit the stop button, you get eight points. You write it down. Again, round two, a bit too loud. But as an example, this resets. Everyone else takes their turn. You make sure you press it down. Kinds of car or whatever you can pick. So if you think there's an adult, you might want to give them level three. If it's a child, you might want to give them level one. So it does have variety, and I do like the way it kind of works in terms of compl complexity, I guess is what I'm trying to get to. Uh, it is a noisy buzzer. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It didn't really impact play. Uh, there's a, a dog and cat and stuff present that didn't affect things. Uh, ultimately, I do enjoy it. I still only kind of give it a five out of 10, just because, well, some people say, you know, once you know things, you know things, things are bouncy. Now, is a, a castle bouncy, as someone said? Well, you know, I can see their point if you have a bouncy castle, obviously, but you could have a bouncy anything, I guess. Um, but no, sometimes it does at zero. It doesn't seem to go too slow. It's nice. Uh, there's a decent size score pad as well. It is double-sided, which is a good bonus. My average rating for a game is 6.4 approximately, so a five might seem harsh, but um, no, it's, it's something I'd play. It's like five second rule, which is also on the channel. I think I kind of prefer this slightly. Um, because you do have a bit more time and you do have a bit more scoring. So I think I actually might give this a six. It's good. I do recommend it. And yeah, I recommend checking it out. But obviously, make sure you check out my other videos. And for now, that has been Don't Panic. This is by Drummond Park. Back to the table.